The conditions are miserable in a word. Uh, people are sleeping in flimsy tents or trying to make some sort of shelter out of trees and leaves. It's filthy, it's dirty, children are lying in the dirt, and many people are sick with the flu and with colds. Uh, people can't get clean. There's just a few showers, but they're all having to share them, men and women sort of in, in the same area. It's very unorganized. Now, having said that, there are some charity groups here trying to hand out medicine and food, so people are doing the best that they can. But inside the camp, it's, 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 it's terrible conditions, really. We've been here for three days, and we have seen some progress today. A lot more charities were here. There were doctors trying to help. As I said, volunteers were arriving with food, but then they'd run out of food. People said that they were only receiving one meal a day, water only twice a day. So the organisation is slowly getting there, but it's not enough. It's definitely being strained. It's relying on volunteers. We've seen very little official coordination. The mayor of Tijuana has come out and said that the city can't cope. Thousands of more refugees and migrants are expected to arrive and he is not in favour of it. He's told them to go home, but they're coming anyway.